Okay, okay, hi guys, it's Rippy K Ripper here and play fair play to win. And you guys may not know me, but I go online as Rip UK Ripper. It is my personal and original YouTube channel. Why do I say original? It's because I have had this YouTube channel for over four to five years now. I think five years now. And um, it's been a hell of a ride. I've created, I've had other channels and actually run other channels alongside this one. I co-run an RPG gaming channel alongside my co co-friend, co-collab, co-collaborator, let's say, uh, Predator Bullet, and it's called, uh, Dragon, Archmage and Predation, god I'm mixing up my words, but this is my first video for EGC as I director, and this is Burnout Paradise, but not just any Burnout Paradise video, I'm going to be showing you a lovely mod I have, well it's a series of graphical enhancements mods for a range of games, you may know the series, you may not, it's called the ENB series. Without further ado, let's get started guys, so for the crappy next startup, I've got other stuff to do and I'm trying to rush this, but don't worry, I will work on it till it's properly all good, don't worry. Anyways, this is the END series, it's a series of graphical enhancements for a range of games, uh, some of the popular ones is Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, uh, GTA 5, San Andreas, there's loads, and one of them is Burnout Paradise. I personally use day to day on Skyrim. I've tried today alone to use it on Fallout New Vegas and it's just crashing constantly. So that's just that's my personal problem fans. Sorry for the dodgy driving about. So this is just the standard vanilla look for the game. Can't really notice any differences. It looks like it's supposed to. I'm running some PC. I'm not sure about the settings. I haven't tweaked the settings or anything. So these are what have ever been set to default for me. Uh, perhaps I could show you. Let's try that. Can I show you? Let's have a look, see. The video options, is not it? Uh, let's see. Quality. Ah, right, there you go. Medium, standard, standard, medium. There you go. I don't know if that's the fault, I don't know if I've just set that and just forgotten about it, but point being, that is what I've got. So as you see, it's medium. I'm guessing that's the fault, not because of your graphics card, because I can run Skyrim with extreme graphics and at high quality. I think I had it, originally I had it at high, but I can run it very high. And I can run Witcher 2, I can run Batman Arkham Origins, high settings, and so. I don't think it's default normally. I think it's just default settings universally for everyone, no matter your PC specs. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little gameplay here. I'm now going to install EMB and I'll show you the difference in graphical quality, the shaders, the shadows, the reflection of water, the reflection of the environment on the car, the bonnet, etc. Stuff like that guys. So I'll see you in a second once I've installed the mod. Okay guys, and we are back. I've now installed EMB series graphics mod for Burnout Paradise. I'm now going to show you the difference in graphical quality, the shadows, the detailed shaders, the reflections upon the car, the surface of the ground, the water, blah 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 blah. And that was just Skype. So I'm just gonna do a little slow round grind of the car as you can see already you can notice the differences the lighting the reflection on the car is a lot more detailed and you can see a lot more in the reflection and it is just beautiful so I'm now going to play the game and we're going to show you it's it is night time so I do apologize for that if uh, you're not getting the best notice notice no, it's not notice. It's not that noticeable because it's night time. Really, to truly get to truly notice the difference and improvement, you really need to see it when the sun is shining, so that you can see the sh the shadows, the reflections, truly in their utter beautiful form. And this isn't really working well because it's day night time. And unfortunately. Even if it was Skyrim or Fantasy Vegas, I could just be like, hell is nah, and I crashed again. Deja vu, guys. Usually I could just exit and go 
I'm gonna wait 24 hours or I'm gonna wait six hours or however I need until the daylight shines through. Fortunately, I can't do that in Burnout Paradise, so hopefully this is enough for you. Because I honestly have no idea how long it is till uh, sunrise and I don't really want to drive about and wait around because I do have other stuff that I need to record guys, so my sincere apologies. If you can't notice the improvements, uh, in fact I think if you look at the ground, as I'm, the ground I'm driving upon, you can already notice the improvements improvements but uh it's oh man I'm, I'm still enough all over the place do apologize guys i'm not in the best uh state i'm very tired uh i had a busy day at college yesterday very hectic and uh yeah personal stuff and i won't get into that in this video so thank you for watching guys this has been riff uk ripper this has been the emb series i will now end this and show you how to install it Hopefully when you play it, you'll be asked, you'll play it when it's in daytime and so you'll notice the difference incredibly and supremely. Whereas right here, because it's night time or it's dawn, one of the two, midnight or dawn, one of the two, I'm guessing it's dawn, the sun is just going down when it's coming up, and so you can't really notice it all that well, but hopefully you can notice the difference or at least slightly, I'm hoping. Either way, uh, the mod is activated. Uh, you'll know because when you launch up the game, it will say in the top left hand corner EMB series to help information, group document if there's any troubles, and blah blah blah. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I will now show you how to install this mod, and so you can enjoy the graphical improvements yourself, not just watching it from my perspective and point of view. Thank you. And I'll see you in a minute guys, just show you how to install the bitch. See you in a minute guys. Okay, hi guys, it's Rippy K Ripper here and we're here for the final part of the video. And that is installing the goddamn thing. So if you followed along so far through the awkward intro, the uhs, the ums, and me awkwardly needing to go pee. I originally recorded this before, but unfortunately, Fraps being the lovely program that it is hooked on to Skype instead of desktop in Google Chrome so for the entire thing all you can see is my mate Skype picture it's I've had to awkwardly say mate I've got to go because Fraps will record you and not the actual tutorial so let's without further ado get on with it shall we all right so you go to the EMB site so enbdev.com com forward slash index underscore en dot html or you can alternatively go to enbdev.com it will take you to I guess the front page the front front page I actually don't know what this page is categorized under for the site well regardless you then press news and it will take you to this site the home page I guess anyways you go to download then you go down to Burnout Paradise. This tutorial pretty much works for every one of the games. Uh, the process is slightly different for each game because of how they work, the installation of the game, blah, blah, blah. But I know for a fact this tutorial works the same for Oblivion and Skyrim. Both have been tested and the same for Anthony Vegas. Uh, there's a slight difference in how you install them. But I will explain to you, and Witcher 2 as well, because I've also tested that one. But you go to Foot Burnout Paradise, you then press download. Download with the little arrow, and then it will download the file for you. You then go to downloads. Well, for me, downloads. And then I've also got another one already, so I've already downloaded one already for it. Okay, you then go to Burnout Paradise for Oblivion. You go for Oblivion, which is the same for Skyrim and the Fortnite New Vegas. You should get a wrapper version and injector version. You want to go into the wrapper version folder and you want to copy the d3d9.dll. So I will show you. So we now go back to the Burnout Paradise folder and I'll have that selected. Now you go to wherever your Burnout Paradise is installed. I have got it installed via Steam. So for me, it will be local disk because I've only got one drive. Mine's a one terabyte. Program files x86. 
let me scroll down to Steam. You might have it installed through Origin as well. For that, you go to Origin Games and then burn up Paradise. Steam apps, common. I'll go back up to the top, and there it is. There you go. And now you've. All, I've already got the two installed. That is all. That is generated once you've got that. But it already has one here. But you don't need that. You just need this one. You drag that, and then that will automatically generate one for you. That one's just a default one. But sorry for the Skype noise if you heard that. Now when you load the game, in the top left hand corner it will say EMB series for help information. If that line of text pops up, series of text pops up, you know EMB series is installed. I would show you as proof and that it works, but unfortunately Burnout Paradise decides to play the Guns N' Roses Paradise City song, which is incredibly awesome and legendary, and it's one of my favourite songs of Guns N' Roses, but it's also incredibly copyright, and so I can't show you. But hopefully you can take my word that that's what happens, and you'll see it for yourself if you want it for Burnout Paradise. Uh, for Skyrim and that, you can doubly be sure because it will constantly have a lot of line of text in the top left hand corner and then when you press shift enter, a menu will bring up it's for configuration. Banner Parrot doesn't have a configuration menu for EMB series, neither does Witcher 2 I believe, but Oblivion, Skyrim and Fight New Vegas all have a configuration one that is accessed by shift and enter. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial guys and the previous parts of the video via the vanilla textures and such shaders and lighting and all that and then the EMB with the EMB series installed for Burnout Paradise. Thank you for watching guys, it's been Rupert K. Ribbert. it's been my first video for the EGC network as a director and hopefully this directorship brings greatness for me as it does for you guys. See you guys later and it's been Rupert K. Ripper. play fair play to win guys and signing off. Bye now.